A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to the channel Twin Flame Union. Now, as we can see that the Divine Masculines, especially for those people who are on the final stages, are going through Dark Night of the Soul. And this is being experienced by even ladies who have the masculine template. So I asked this question, or you can say a series of questions, where I wanted to know from the universe, from the universal domain, for all of you all people, that what is it that the divine feminine should do or should be going through to raise her energy, to raise her vibration that will help create the mirror effect and some kind of energy upgrade. So for every question or for every upgrade, there is a card that is being shown to me. Different channelings are coming to me in different styles, which is very interesting. And at this point in time, when we seek advice from Tarot, normally when you get one single card as an advice, it's really amazing because then you have a very focused answer. And this card is one of my favorite cards actually because few places I was uh, some time back, I would say not now, I was very, very stuck in a, in a very um, stagnant place energetically. And when I asked for advice from Tarot, because for my own self, I rarely do it. I only do it when I feel that, okay, there's no other way out. So that was the card that was given to me and it instantly raised my energy and it instantly shifted me from where I was to completely different place. So I know when this is being given to all the divine feminines to mirror for divine masculine and for the whole dynamic of the relationship you share, then this is definitely being going to be gold for all of you. And the card is the fool. It's a divine card, but I will explain to you because the cards, tarot is such a thing that it's always different in different contexts. The same card can be read like in 200 different ways, in 200 different situations. In this situation, the fool, however, is giving a very, very, very lovely message, I have to say. Now, the fool is, in this context, is asking you to become completely carefree. So what's going to happen here is that when the divine feminine becomes carefree, she actually can connect with her higher energies, her intuitive gifts. That's very, 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 very important for the divine feminines. That's why when this card was given to me, I was like very excited. I was like, wow, this is a brilliant card for her. And in some cases, I'm being told that the Divine Feminine is already doing this. And all those Divine Feminines who are already doing this have already felt a huge shift in their energy. All right. And they can say that just by feeling this. So the fool doesn't mean here that you have to become a foolish person who does not use any brains or just does whatever you like without thinking. No. In fact, in this case, the fool is otherwise also a very powerful card, by the way, because it's a divine card. It also talks about new beginning. So what the divine is guiding the feminines right now is that to move on from the past, because whatever happened, whatever transpired in the past was a result of the wounds they have. So instead of blaming the masculines, what they need to do is they need to figure it out that they had childhood wounds, childhood traumas. They had a lot of stuff that they had gone through because of which the energy had got misbalanced and the energy got jittery, energy 
was not in the place the frequency like you have the radio dial you have you can change frequency similarly they need to change that dial from that radio dial you have to change the frequency you cannot be on the same frequency the same you know sad sadistic frequency you got to jump out from that frequency it's almost like jumping into dimensions parallel dimensions shifting dimensions so you have to move out from the the old frequency which was creating this type of unrest sadness pain suffering and feeling trapped not able to get out from the current situation so this card is your sign that you got to become totally carefree when you become carefree you also establish a connection which is called faith with the source now you must have heard the word faithful or you must have heard the word loyal how our pets are they're so faithful to the master because they are full of faith they know that my master my caretaker my family whatever they call you they will take care of me no matter what so even if they don't speak the same language they can speak the language of love right that's why i keep promoting one love because animals understand one love much better than humans so you to get into that energy you need to have complete faith in universe in your master and the best way to learn faith is to learn from dogs they can really teach faith and letting go and surrender like they just know that someone is going to take care of them so you have to get into the fool's energy because when the fool steps out the fool is very well dressed is wearing a nice dress wearing nice hat has little bit of stuff doesn't carry baggage the good thing about fool is the fool never carries any baggage and it has a loyal friend a dog it's on a path it's a traveler a carefree traveler who doesn't care who doesn't give a damn so if you're constantly cribbing complaining you're like ah oh, my life then you got to stop you got to take a deep breath you got to drink some water and you got to think that is this really helping me it's not it's making things worse so i got to I got to be carefree now. I got to be relaxed because the worst has already happened. He already ran away. He already ran away. For some of you he ran away and he went to someone else. So the worst has already happened. What else can happen? He's not talking to you. Maybe he blocked you. Maybe he's not replying to you or maybe he's just talking at like you from a distance but he doesn't have the courage to come and talk to you. So whatever it is, the worst has already happened. What can you do? you there's no point crying over spilt milk right you have heard that so the best thing to do is clean that mess clean the place nice and make it sparky so that's why the fool has this nice costume is well dressed steps out you know life is a party so this is universe telling the divine feminines that you got to start a new beginning you got to have to clean the slate completely you cannot use the old data the old data has to go into the recycle bin and then just permanently delete it and this also reveals a very important aspect of your life that your life is about to change for the good now it's up to you you want to change it for the good or you want to change it for the bad that's completely up to you so the fool will always approach any change with optimism with joy with enthusiasm and the fool knows the fool is 100% sure that life is all sorted i was in this deep fool energies when i left for pokhara a couple of years back actually in 2016 and i lived there for about 3 4 months so everything happened automatically be it the money be it the schedule be it timing be it me getting you know everything arranged in a platter everything was happening on its own because i was in the full energy and then i stepped out of that energy and then i could figure out how 
you change when you're not carefree or when you don't have faith. Now, there are two types of carefrees. Let me tell you this. One is a carefree where you are very thankless. You don't have any gratitude for what you are doing, what you have received from the universe. That I'm not talking about that. That's like being irresponsible. Here, you are carefree in a positive way. Okay. And this also means that in the past, the divine feminine, whatever, whatever risks she took or whatever challenges she accepted, they've actually worked out for her because there's a certain amount of peace. And if that peace wasn't there, then she won't even want to be the fool. She won't take the leap of faith. So she did, she did actually practically with the help of inner work and with the help of all the research, she applied this in her life. And because of which this place has been offered to her. So you can actually see it like how it works in the ascension journey. First of all, ascension never ends. You're always ascending. You're always up to something. But you always get like a door, like a doorway or a pathway after doing certain amount of work. It's like leveling up in a game. How you level up, you do certain things, then you get certain points and with those points you open up a new level. This is exactly how it is. So the divine feminines have opened up a new level. Congratulations. Now this also means that you gotta shed the old habits that didn't work for you at all. And you know that and you know which old habits were those. It could be anything like eating at wrong timings or not taking care of yourself, not taking care of your health, or just watching content because content is also like company. A lot of people don't realize this, but let me tell you, when you're on the ascension journey or otherwise, if you're a spiritual person, you really love your own company a lot. So it really matters when you're alone or when you're doing your own things, what is the type of content you're consuming? Because content is also like food. So when I say that, hey, you should not eat so much junk food. That also means that you should not be consuming junk content because that will have some impact on you. And that is also like, you know, you keep scrolling, 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 and you keep watching like hundreds of videos. Probably 80 of those videos were not even worth it. But you saw them and then after three hours, you're like, oh, okay, so much has happened. Three hours have gone by. So this is just an example now, in the twin flame ascension journey, as I said, that it's very important for the divine feminine to do certain things without thinking about the divine masculine. So the whole idea is to not think about divine masculine so much. And that's the reason why when I do my channelings, it's all about bringing you back to the present moment and bringing you back to your own personal mission work. I know uh, some of the people that I'm coaching right now, they also sometimes ask me too many questions about the DMs. Then I have to remind them that, hey, what are you doing? You forgot what you're supposed to do. And then they realize because the moment you start thinking too much about the DM, you start daydreaming too much, you also develop some kind of anxiety because some or the other bad memory crops up because every time you think about something good, something bad also follows. That's how it, things are. That's why I talk about equanimity. That's how we talk about being neutral towards all possible thoughts. So that is a very higher stage of uh, ascension journey in a work where you can actually check on your thoughts via your mind. So you're so deep into the ascension. You're so deep into inner work that you know every single thought so well or the types of thoughts or the quality of thoughts. There are many things. So now it's all about letting go the old habits, the bad habits and building up good habits. And because there has to be a certain element, you know, like of optimism in this journey, then without being like a fool, you can never receive that optimism. In certain places, in some areas, you definitely have to be like, yeah, man, I don't care about these things. Like um, maybe in your family, they keep talking about the same thing. Like they keep talking about black magic or they keep talking about witches or they keep talking about some old relatives who did you wrong. Like you spend like 40 years of your life just listening to the same story like a tape record 
again and again and again or how someone did bad to you or how women should act in this way and they keep talking about it like even if you tell them that don't do it it's it's like stupid shit why are you giving food to your mind they will be like yeah we don't know so the bad habit is to indulge into all those things the good habit is to ignore be like yeah whatever i mean they like to talk it it's their frequency it's their thing i just have to do my work so you develop those things and as an advice also the fool wants you to take a chance the fool wants you to take this risk because you have already done what you had to do like you have tried everything that you that you could it didn't really do anything good to you in fact you went into a worse situation so now you don't have to be so adamant or so rigid and this is again not applying to everyone okay and it's definitely not applying to people who have a big ego and who are always there to point fingers at others now you need to have a fresh mind of a beginner how you how you are when you're learning something new you don't have to judge yourself you know you don't have to say say like oh my god i didn't do, do this well oh i'm making so much mistakes no you just keep improvising on things you know so put the past experiences behind is what this card is telling you forget the past delete it delete it delete it you cannot advance you cannot grow if you have the same image of yourself and your divine masculine and let me also tell you since you were not perfect since you were wounded since you had so many problems obviously you were not supposed to at that time attract a healthy version of your divine masculine so delete the past refresh now become a clean slate this is the advice that the journey ahead will be amazing know that keep telling this to yourself like whatever happens it's fine whatever happens it's okay you have to be courageous that's very very important and if you get any opportunity then also you will have enough time or enough understanding or enough maturity to see whether it works for you or not and if it doesn't work for you again delete refresh and come back don't think so many things and don't be an overthinker like don't dwell upon the same things the repeated things again and again you can take a new route you can take a new path but you can do it with faith it's like karma yoga karma yoga is like you do whatever you do but your actions are all dedicated to the universe to the divine source you don't care about the results as such like what is my benefit what is my gain how much money am i going to make how many people are going to love me because these are all superficial things you know people change the same people who love you today may not like you tomorrow morning it's like can you just can you keep thinking about it all the time you can't and this also means one very important thing that you got to also lighten up have some humor sense of humor you know like develop your funny bone you know or tickle your funny bone or be this person who can see comedy in even the problems of life don't be so rigid and uptight these are all the messages that the universe is giving now it's completely up to you whether you take it or you leave it it's not like someone is forcing you to do it if you don't want to do it if you don't feel it's the right time or you're not ready for it you still want to go through more suffering and you still want to you know like feel bad about things that took place in your life and you can't move on so easily then don't do it do it only when you resonate with it and on that note i'm going to end this channeling session right here and i will see you soon in another one So one love and peace out